Next, we got Treasure Planet, A Voyage of Discovery from 2002. So this is, a, this is basically, um, basically an art, not an art book. Art book slash making of the film that I got from Anne Arundel County. And that's what the back of that says. I didn't even know this existed until I was roaming uh, Marina's CCPL, which is the interlibrary loan system for Maryland, which is really beautiful. Now, this book is 128 pages. So, you can see it's 128 pages together. So, we'll just, I'll brevity run through this. Because if I was to do every single page, the video would be like over like 10, 20 minutes or give or take. So. But yeah, I enjoyed this movie. I did do a review on it, I think. I'll have to check then. But yeah, this thing has uh, a lot of good artwork to it. I think I did do a review on it, I don't remember. I'll have to check then. But yeah, this book... This is a really good book. Just because it goes through... It breaks down the movie and it shows you how everything came to be. And the different types. Uh, it just goes through everything. Hmm. It's basically like a like a Star Wars visual dictionary in a sense, because it it breaks down everything and shows you you know the characters and how they came to life, concept art form and everything. Actually, let me do Flint because I did like Captain Flint. He was cool as hell. And this is the original concept art for him. Or early character designs, I should say. And it's funny how the er early character designs end up being reused for other purposes. You know, again, going back to uh, Star Wars how they took uh, Ralph McQuarrie's concept art and turned it into Rebels. Woo! Too much. There we go. There's what Scroop used could have looked like. <laughs> it's just amazing how good this book is. Like, it's really good. Oh, yeah, come on. And it's one of the, it's a bigger book. Well, not bigger book. It's a uh, um, it's a widescreen size book. That's what, it's a sixteen by nine book, basically sixteen by nine size look of it versus you know the traditional books of you know how they're. Vertical and whatnot. This is a horizontal book. And this actually goes through the entire story. But I mean, this movie is so good. It's highly underrated. And thank Christ it's got a cult following now. <laughs> I just can't believe it did so bad in theaters. And there's the film credits. And in my personal opinion, 
I find that uh, Disney films without a musical number are actually the better ones versus the ones that have musical numbers. And there's that. I also love this background here. That's pretty as hell. So, that was Treasure Planet. A Voyage of Discovery. Go away, GameStop. So, you know, if you like Disney films and you like, you know, art books and stuff, you know, this is for you. What I recommend is the front front more. <laughs> <sighs> would I recommend it to friends? Yeah, of course, because I don't know. Some of them might like this, some of them might not. And this is slightly embossed a little bit. Not fully embossed, but slightly. And this is a gorgeous fucking cover as well. Um, it gives... Ugh, I love this book. It's a good book. I might buy it. I don't know yet. Uh, what do I bring it to you? Yeah, if you liked Treasure Planet and you wanted to know more about it, of course, I would totally recommend, you know, adding this to your collection so you can find out all you can about Treasure Planet and the details with it. I did do a review on this thing. Yeah, it was number 14 in my movies and TV collection. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, this, yeah, if you are a Disney fan, this is for you. If you like to collect art books that have, art books and, uh, making of the film, this is for you. Um, I don't know how easy it'll be to find this because, you know, it's 17 years old. And I don't know how many eBay sellers actually have this book. But you can check eBay, Macari, or wherever. Might even find it at your local Goodwill or something. <laughs> or a flea market for that matter. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you like this book, I enjoyed this book. It was really good. Definitely amazing to look through. Uh, so, I will be back and I will do another book. Stay tuned.